Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today we're going to take a look at some of the great new features part of Photoshop CS5. One of those is the ability to use Repose to create 3D text or extruded elements right inside of Photoshop. Here's how it works. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the text tool here, and let's just draw out a block and set some text. So here we go. And I'm just typing it in. Remember, you got all sorts of controls here. You could scale that up as necessary. That's looking good. And when you're satisfied, just place the text on the screen where you want it to work. Now, if you're doing 3D extrusion, you might want to slightly bump up the space between the letters. Easiest way to do that is you can go on over to the type panel here and just bump up the tracking to maybe something like 25, and you see that that'll actually loosen it up a bit. That looks good there. When you're satisfied, you go ahead to the 3D menu, which is only in Photoshop Extended, but remember, Photoshop Extended is included in the Creative Suite Production Premium and with Master Collection, so there's a good chance that you've got it. And you could say that you want to go ahead and choose Repose Text Layer. Now once you do this, it's going to rasterize it. So before that applies, if you want to change the color, you can go ahead and do that and put in whatever color you want. That looks pretty good there. And we'll go ahead and apply that. And there we go. Now once you've applied this, it turns it into an actual 3D model. And you can't modify the text, so make sure you get it right to start with. You'll see a new window open up. You're going to have the ability to actually get new textures and materials here. So those are going to be coming out on Adobe's website. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. You're going to be able to go out and download additional textures to expand your library. But you've got the ability here to try different types of bevels. And you see how it changes that look. Remember, give it a moment to redraw between choices. It is doing a lot of processing. And then you've got the ability to play with the depth and the scale of those bevels, as well as if it bends or goes to the left or the right. You see that you have controls over inflating an object or adjusting the lighting, changing the contour for the edge of the bevel, giving it a different shape. And because this is a 3D object, you can actually go ahead and reposition it in 3D space. So you've got the little controls up here. And you'll notice that you can rotate, and you can tilt and do all of those controls that you want. When satisfied, click OK, and it will generate a 3D model. There it is. There's my 3D model. And remember, these 3D models can be imported into After Effects. You can make 3D objects in Photoshop and bring them into After Effects and have them interact with the 3D camera system of After Effects as well as the lights. So it's some very cool integration here between Photoshop and After Effects. Hope you enjoyed this. This is just one of the many new things that's part of Photoshop CS5. Be sure to check out the full Creative Cow site. We've got great forums and additional tutorials you're going to want to check out. And more training coming as part of our Creative Cow Master Series. Lots of in-depth training on your favorite software programs. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.